just a demo of my new um, HUD that I've built. Standard thing, you've got the GoPro on. Um, cheap Japanese, uh, Chinese fighter pilot helmet. But as you can see, I have a monocle HUD that I've built into it, which used to be, I used to have it separately on a pair of headphones, but I've made it a little bit better. First thing is, although it looks like it's right over my eye, it's not. It's actually um, above my eye. So usually when I'm flying, from pretty much horizontal down, I can see fine. But if I look up, I see the HUD. Now what the HUD shows is not only the output of the GoPro, but inside here, I have an on-screen display which is feeding through the GoPro. And that adds an actual real fighter pilot type HUD. So I have um, altitude, uh, miles per hour speed, uh, direction that I'm going, how far from my home takeoff field that I've been, the direction to get back, uh, how fast I'm ascending, descending, how far I've been flying, how long I've been flying for. So all the sort of stuff that I used to have to have a separate GPS type thing and all that is now all available to me all the time just by looking up like that. So if I'm flying or wrong, I just look up, what speed am I doing? Yeah, that speed, yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, pretty good. Um, it, uh, it's got a built-in lithium battery, it'll last for 8 hours or so, so plenty of time. And uh, even when the GoPro is not working, um, it goes on. It's got a separate control for the LCD, so I can just switch the LCD off when I'm, to save battery when, I, when I'm not interested in what speed. And uh, it seems to work pretty well. I can't really show um, this working very well, obviously, for obvious reasons. But I will show the OSD um, output so that you can get an idea. And basically, as I'm looking, um, I get a normal view. And then in the top right hand side, almost like a postage stamp, I get the output of the GoPro plus all the telemetry that I've been talking about. So it seems to work okay. Also, if I just demonstrate that uh, I can still use my uh, visors, so that's my clear visor, which I usually have down, and then I also have a um, sun visor as well, and I still got the access to the HUD through both of them. Um, at the moment, I'm running simply with Peltor ear defenders, um, but I have a facility that I can put. Uh, speakers in there and stuff, but I don't usually fly with a radio and Although I had it set up for Bluetooth and iPhone. I never actually used it very much. So I've not bothered now. All I've got is 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 the uh, The HUD the benefit is everything's there. All I need to do is stick that on and fly uh, Nothing else required um, So there you go Okay, so I'm going to try and show you um, What this looks like in the HUD now no one guarantee this will be successful, but let me show you. Okay, there we go. Can you see that? There you go. So that's the output that I get when I'm flying. If it doesn't look focused, it is. It's extremely sharp. Um, and all, and basically, uh, as I say, it's just in the top right view of my view. If I pull back a little bit, I don't know if that really makes any sense, but there you go. Okay, so here's just some pictures showing you the helmet, uh, and another one with the visor down. Close up, obviously needs to be tidied up a little bit, and here's the actual. Uh, OSD information, you can see some of it's only relevant for radio control, but most of it is relevant for us, or me anyway. <laughs>